Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to make a do-it-yourself CO2 reactor for uh, planted aquariums. It's fairly easy and it's very, very cheap. So basically you need about a 2 liter bottle. I like these uh, ocean spray bottles. They're 1.89 liters, but they're very durable. So what you do is basically you make a hole in the lid, like this, and then you feed in the air line and you put some silicone around it. And then I like to just put a bit of tape just, to, just in case there is a leak. So you'd screw that on to here. Next it comes down to, this is called a bubble counter. And basically this is an anti-pasta jar, an old one. And uh, you make two holes in the lid. One for intake from the reactor over here. And this one is going to be a bit longer than this one because this has to go into the water in the jar. And then this second line is going to be very close to the top of the lid. So once again, I put silicone on both of these and I taped it up nicely. So this actually, when it hooked up, is going to bubble under the water. And then this lets you count the bubbles in here. So you're expecting about one bubble per second. That's good for a planted aquarium. And then once it bubbles out, it comes up and goes through here. Another benefit of the bubble counter is that sometimes some residue can leave the generator and instead of going directly into your aquarium it's going to be filtered out in here first. So the next part of this setup is um, the this is called a check valve. And basically the check valve prevents um, water from siphoning out of your aquarium and going back down to here and filling up either the bubble counter or the reactor or both are flooding. So we attach the check valve to the airline that's going to the tank. Now many people have a lot of problems with trying to figure out how to diffuse the bubbles. Some people shove uh, chopsticks into the end, some people buy systems to do it. I found the best thing to be um, the Elite Mini Filter System. It's just a simple aquarium filter. I believe it's for approximately one gallon aquariums. And uh, it costs about ten dollars. It's available at all your local fish stores. So this is usually an air intake which disperses air bubbles throughout the aquarium. But instead I hook up the CO2 right to here. And you can control the settings. Even on low, it uh, covers my entire 10 gallon aquarium in bubbles. And uh, it's great. It works perfectly. So if you want to spend a little bit more money on this than using a chopstick, I would definitely recommend the Elite Mini. It's the AC130. It's available at all your local pet stores and uh, usually it is a filter system so I just get a kitchen sponge and I cut it to size and I replace it every few months. It does help with circulating the water in the aquarium also and it does a great job dispersing the bubbles. Now in terms of the recipe to fill this part of the container with, there's a lot of debate about what works great and I've uh, used the recipe, two cups of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of yeast, uh, you can use uh, basic cooking yeast. I just picked this up from the local grocery store. It's about 80 cents, I think, for this packet. And um, one packet will last you a couple of months. And then next, I got a half a teaspoon of baking soda. This, uh, it's apparently supposed to keep an even flow of uh, reactor power to your CO2. I've always used it. I don't try it without it. It's no harm to anything, so why not, right? Then you fill the rest of the bottle with water. So you fill it about three-fourths of the way. So on this setup, it's about here. Now, to make the sugar uh, dissolve into the water, you usually want to heat the water up first. But yeast will not create the reaction while the water is hot. So heat the water up and mix the sugar in, and then let it cool. Once it has cooled to room temperature, add the yeast, add the baking soda, and then just put your hand on top and lightly shake it back and forth and within about less than 24 hours you will have CO2 starting to bubble. And you can count the bubbles in your bubble checker. It should be about one bubble a second. If you're finding to have a really fast um, bubble count, it's probably because you uh, mixed up the formula and it's generating a lot of pressure. So what you can do in this case is you can add a valve that will actually allow you to adjust the speed of the bubbles coming out. And um, as you choose, you can add suction cups to uh, nicely place the tubing in your aquarium. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for other do-it-yourself projects. I know I'm going to have a do-it-yourself light hood coming up, um, possibly a stand and more.